Hey guys, it's Fraser Caswell from Manwave. Today we're joined by Josh from Cooler Master, and he has brought in the new Mastercase NC100. He's going to tell us a bit about it and show us how to turn it into a compact yet high end gaming PC. So let's get it unboxed and check it out. The Mastercase NC100 is a system package that includes the case and integrated daughter board for interconnecting the GPU and the Intel NUC9 Extreme Compute Element, as well as including the new VSFX Gold 650 watt power supply. The whole package is enclosed in the NC100 chassis, featuring a tiny 7.9 litre internal volume, small form factor case developed around a highly accessible design with twin slim profile 92 millimeter cooling fans, two USB 3 Gen 2 Type A 10 gigabit per second ports on the front IO, and support for full length GPUs up to 32 centimeters long. The two side and top panels are easy to remove via the rear thumb screws and slide right off. The front fascia can be easily removed with a light tug under the front flip of the fascia. Removing these elements of the chassis reveal a framework that can be easily deconstructed via corner mounted screws. Removal of the key structural bars across the top frame of the enclosure. During this process, the tiny VSFX Gold 650 watt power supply can be removed to further increase accessibility and in the process revealing the tiny size of the unit. Now it's time to build the system. All right, so Josh has just finished unboxing the NC100 PC case. He's got it all prepared and he's placed it to the side. Now he's going to be teaching me how to actually build the whole system. So Josh, what's this and what do I need to do? All right, so we're going to be starting here with the Intel NUC9 Extreme Compute Element Board. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is, first of all, I'll get you to unscrew these, these two? two screws here. Okay. And what that allows then is access to where the RAM and the storage gets, well, rather simply installed. So once we right, nice. get those screws undone, it's just a little bit just of encouragement to sort of it pop up. it up. That's it. That's right, it. Nice and easy. Yeah, very easy. And just place it to the side. That's it. Just cool. put it to the side. So I'm going to pop these RAM sticks in. That's right. So we've got so. two sodium sticks of crucial 16 gigabyte DDR4-2666, which runs with 1.2 volts of uh, voltage of power. Down the bottom there, you want to align that gap. That's it. There. In it goes. Next one, just in there. Just align the notch. That's it. Yep. Push it in a little bit. Just tap it in. Nice and easy. So the next up, you want to grab your screwdriver again. There's two screws there that you want to take yep. out. All right, sweet. So we'll line these up again. So I'm going to line up the notches. That's it. It's all about the notch. Yep, Get that notch is. lined up. All right, that's one. All right, I'll line up this one. So we have the second storage slot getting filled now as well. And as you're demonstrating, the plate just pops back into place. Yep. Really simple. Grab the screwdriver again, just connect up those ones, two yeah. screws there. And that's your basic installation of the core mm. computing components. All done. All right, so now what we've got here mm. is a complete uh, NUC solution, the Intel NUC9 Extreme Compute Element Board. Mm -hmm. We've got installed dual channel uh, crucial RAM, so we've got 32 gig total of DDR4 2666, nice. and that's in the laptop yeah, sodium the RAM. Little, sodium little guys sodium. that uh, run at low voltage, 1.2 volts. Nice. And we've also got two uh, M2 NVMe mm -hmm. SSDs installed. In this case, we're using the Seagate uh, 510 okay, series. Yeah. So nice it's a nice, really fast, small solution mm. and really simple to actually just mm. undo, 
plug it in and you basically sort yeah, it's it. Awesome. It's, it's not as complex as say doing a full desktop mm. build. We're going to be placing this mm. into the new NC100 mm -hmm. and we're going to be teaming it up with the VSFX uh, Gold 650 watt power supply and it's going to be a pretty rad little system because mm, we're also definitely. going to be throwing in the uh, Aorus Eagle RTX 3070. It's, Overkill. Yeah. All right, so now that we've got the, the completed NUC, mm -hmm. it's time for us to bring over the case, the NC100 case. Nice. All right, so what am I doing? All right, so we've got the PCIe slot here, mm -hmm. the, and that wants to slot into this section okay, here. Yeah. So I'll get you to do it so you can get a feel for it. Yeah. You want to go in nice and horizontally from the top, clunk, in it goes. All right, cool. But of course, we need to first yeah, remove to take out the bracket that covers the, the area securing the rear I.O. Excellent. So we'll move that aside for now because yep. we'll be playing around back there with the graphics card as well. <coughs> All right, cool. I'll leave that then. Pop this in for now. Excellent. Make sure we're not locked. Indeed. So we want that little tab to be facing down. All right, now let's line it up. And we want to make sure that the... Hey, the there we go. In. Excellent, bang. Easy, Got easy. It. And then we just get one more Shut screw to secure screw. the top of the rear uh, PCI bracket plate. All done, Excellent. easy as that. Yeah, so it's really straightforward. Mm. We've got sort of half the uh, PC built. Already done, yeah. Already, yeah. yeah. So straightforward. So quick. So now uh, we actually go through and it's a little bit of a fiddly stage, mm. but that's where being able to take off these, these whole horizontal uh, cross yeah, members things, yeah. makes it really easy then to get in there to connect up things like we've got a 10 pin power cable down yeah, here. Okay. We've got the eight pin power cable to the board yep. up here as well. And we're also going to have a few other little bits and bobs to connect. All right, so let's connect all the cables. Yeah. So these are the ones out the accessories box, yeah? Yeah, so first up, this guy's going to go into this header mm -hmm. over here. All right, cool. So this one, you might be thinking, oh gosh, that's quite long. Um, we're actually going to be routing that that's across good, yeah. the a uh, cross member that will run across here. So it's actually going to end up running. Oh, you like can tie it up there. Yeah. That's right, Out that's right. So for now, we just let it float mm -hmm. around. So these ones, I guess. Next up, yep. Yeah. So this, this one here yep. connects up to the blue header here. Oh, let's do that. So oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Just be mindful that we've got a blanked pin. Yep. Excellent, nice done. And easy. Indeed. Should we do this kind of? Yeah, the, exactly. What's RGB. This? RGB. The RGB controller. controller. So we've just got some very simple lighting on the front yeah, face okay. here section. Um, if you want to run a more sort of discreet setup, you don't have to uh, add this in. Add this, yeah. But uh, you can if you wish. And if you uh, re really want to have some more direct control as well, you can also wire it to interact directly with the, the uh, reset button on the front I.O. as well. Oh, okay, and yeah. use that to cycle through the uh, uh, different color features. So, so I'll pop that to the side for now because yeah, we need correct. to say the power. Indeed. Uh, this guy. Where does All right. This so that's the fan header, and that one goes into here. All right, cool. Excellent. All right, that's in there. And next up, we've got our high-speed USB. Yep. This one here, the USB 3 Gen and 2, 10 gigabit per here, second. That's up here next to oh, the, here, yeah, yeah. the power. Excellent. Right, so here. we'll leave that sort of hanging about as oh, well. Do you want to connect that now or later? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, you can do it. You're closer. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. right. All right, boom, done. Right, so it looks like a bit of a rat's nest, a bit of a dog's breakfast mm. right now, but that's okay. Yeah. We're gonna be able to clean, clean that up and get that all sorted out. Now what we want to do is connect up the cross member that runs across the rear here. So okay. there's a little bit of play in these right now. Mm -hmm. And the cross members just sort of shore, shore the, the, the whole structure up mm -hmm. um, while having been out of place. So we've got a bit more hands-on access. Yeah, so right. next up, we grab this here, which is cross member for this section here. And it's as no, simple as I'll grab the screws, two screws yeah. here and two screws here. So if you want to grab yeah. those and... And same again on the back end side yeah. here. You can also see why we were going to run this cable across the, yeah. the back it's section here. pretty much made for it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can Super do this simple one. stuff. Cool. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we've got a perfect power supply sized mm. section here. So what we have here, you can see everything sort of pre-bundled, all the cables. We've mm -hmm. got special sh shorter cables for this uh, yeah, yeah. nut that's solution good. here. And so this section simply just have to slides in. We just got to get yeah, our rat's no, nest out of the way. Yeah. We haven't done our cable management yet, guys. No. So uh, don't please judge us. don't judge us. Yeah. And that section aligns there. into right. there. So maybe if you hold it and I put in the screws. Yeah. I'll pass. All right. I'll pass you the screw. Yeah. We then have the two, two more two screws here. that we're going to put in here. And here. So I'm actually like going to pass yeah. this over to you, Fraser. All right. No and problem. this will also give an opportunity for the audience to see the back section here. That one. That's the power supply in here. As you can see, there's still plenty of room for the graphics card through this section yep. once we take care of the, the cable management as well. So we can fit up to a 32 centimeter long graphics card with a, a 2.5 slot width. So um, basically any of the, the modern performance mm. uh, models that you might desire to put yeah. in this. You um, could put a monster in Absolutely, there. absolutely. And with a, a VSFX gold power supply, uh, you'd be really surprised mm. what these, these small but mighty 650 watt units can do. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. What do you think we should do now? I think some cable management yeah, is in probably. order. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's the best way to manage these cables? So cable management, um, really it's a, a bit of an art form. Yeah, it's, and sub it's very subjective. Yeah, <laughs> so it really depends on how you want to run the cables. So a um, great example actually is this cable here which connects mm. up the, uh, the power, power supply, for yeah. the power supply to the external uh, wall socket. What you can do with this cable is actually run it down behind the nuck through here before you install everything mm. and then also pop it through this little hole here. Okay, so it's out the um, way, yeah. But equally, if you also just want to have it so you can take the whole thing out, Very you can easily, just yeah. have it like this, run it up into the channel here and bomb. So you know. we're going to go the convenience route? Correct, yeah, correct. Right, we like to it. keep things yeah. simple and easy and that's really what we're demonstrating mm. here is the, the simplicity of this unit. Mm. So uh, from there, what we might do is look for certain areas that we can tidy up. But we're sort of doing a little bit of a, a quick and dirty just mm. to get the, the, the demonstration through so right, everyone so can see how it comes together. I think now we can do the graphics cards, yeah? Yeah, that's right. So um, we've got our graphics card yep. power ready here and we've also got our um, power for our fans in the top section here. Mm. So let's get to that. All right, so let's chuck in the graphics card now. So Indeed. So here it is. We've got the Gigabyte Aorus Eagle RTX 3070. Oh, well. And uh, this is going to be a, a really nice yeah, GPU for I this solution. This. Get in there, take out those screws. That's going to open up the rear uh, I.O. area. Mm -hmm. And so that ensures that we've got clear clearance for ventilation for the GPU as well as our input output for our video. So um, the really cool thing about this is that with the Intel NUC 9 Extreme Compute Element and Aorus Eagle RTX 3070 uh, installed, we've got a real powerhouse. So uh, this solution here would be great for um, whether it be high-res high gaming or even high-res uh, high you know, productivity um, sort of things. So video editing, uh, uh, image editing, uh, 3D rendering, things of that nature. So um, it's a real sort of um, really capable of multiple things. So we've actually got to take out one more there, Fraser. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, so misaligned, got, I misaligned myself. That's okay, because what, what we've actually highlighted there rather inadvertently is we've got a one slot spacing between the uh, NUC board and, and the GPU. So compared with, say, the uh, uh, Ghost Canyon solution direct from from Intel where they're sort of sandwiched up mm, right next to each then, other. Actually, yeah. So it allows for the, the NUC uh, uh, element board to breathe a bit more and um, just a bit more spacing. So uh, for anyone that's run SLI graphics cards before and had them backed up right next to each other, um, they would really know sort of what Hated we're talking about here. here. Yeah. <laughs> I, did a, I did SLI once, never again. <laughs> Maybe I'll get your help a little bit here. Yeah. Just you need me to steady up the, that section. Yeah, it's a beast. It it's a beast you. of a card. So that's it. I mean, we're almost taking up that full 32 centimeters 
but it's a great demonstration of, of what this um, chassis go. solution is capable of. So just making sure, yeah, we're in there. Lovely. So while you do that, I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and get our power sorted out. Yeah, cool. All good. And then boom. It's been pretty quick to build though, that's for sure. Well, that's it. Like it's, it's a very straightforward, um, simple solution. Something that, you know, enthusiasts can certainly get down with and be keen, keen about, but also equally, it can be a really simple build for like new, more, novice, more sort yeah. of mainstream users. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. So someone who wants that DIY sort of, you know, experience, mm. but not quite up to scratch on their technical know-how to mm. go through and build a whole ATX uh, full you know, DIY system. So this is where I'll the NC100 comes in. It's mm. a simplified, easy solution and uh, a lot of fun actually. You know, it's really great as well if you're like a minimalist and you want a very small computer on your desk. Yeah, for this, sure. This thing can do everything Yeah, and it will be out the way. All right, so now we've got the graphics card in. Fraser here is putting on the rear backing plate just to hold everything mm -hmm. down in place. And uh, we're getting quite close to completion. Uh, what we need to do next is very simply install the power cable, which is convenient that we got screwdriver man yeah, back yeah. there. I'm Let's prepared. Get that happening, man. Yep. Excellent. Great. Well done. So that then runs, we're going to channel that across here. Just pull our fan cables out as well. And so, you know, if, if I was going through and, and completing this for myself, I'd have all these things sort of cabled uh, mm. down, down in place. But, uh, you know, it's for now, we're just sort of showing how we're going to do yep. this. So next up, we've got another one of our, our cross members as yep. well. So the cross member goes in like this. There's our screws. Got another four screws. Yeah, we're Just getting like really close now. Whoop. <laughs> Don't lose it off the table. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> It'd almost be as good as Linus with a yeah, graphics right. card, I wouldn't would, it? As soon as I thought about it falling, I just thought of Linus. <laughs> that will live with him forever. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's known for it. All, All right. right, so now what? Next up, we've got the fans. So mm -hmm. the fans are for that top panel. But so, so this is the uh, top plate section. As you can see, the mm -hmm. twin slim 92 millimeter fans. Nice. Um, so we've gone for a real sort of minimalist uh, look here. So mm -hmm. no, no RGB uh, uh, in this solution here. We've sort of tried to minimize that because this is more your sort of desktop, sleek, modest, chic. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, just before we put that in place, I'll reinstall the front, the front face here. Panel, yeah. Is that it? There we go. Oh, that was easy. Done. Super okay. simple, super easy. Um, next up, we've got our top plate here. So mm -hmm. if you hold that for me yep. for a moment, it's just easier so we can demonstrate to everyone yep, here go, that. that we're very simply going to a little bit closer. Yeah, bring it closer. <laughs> there we go. We can tuck these down the back here and that slides into place nice. slides forward and, and then a couple screws. of thumbs through yeah. boom so you want to make sure that you get the thread aligned there magnets done get some mesh happening up there filter and then these two side panels are interchangeable side to side so that simplifies nice, things yeah, as well nice you're not, and easy, straight yeah exactly you're not worrying about oh, which, which goes on which, which side yeah. it's just you know wham bam thank you ma'am throw them together <laughs> before you know it you've got a chicken dinner nice excellent all right all finished i believe yeah let me just give it a check over because it's so small mm. we can just yeah, it's looking good, man. It's looking real good. Nice. So uh, next, how about we set it up in its natural environment and how it could be looking in your home?
So that's everything for this video. Thanks again, Josh, for coming by and showing us the Mastercase NC100. It's been an absolute pleasure, Fraser. And you. Uh, you know, I hope that everyone out there has gotten a little nugget of, of information, of knowledge about building with the NC100. And I'd also like to say thanks to the rest of the M-Wave crew that you, you don't see around mm -hmm. here. Uh, they do a great job and it's been a, a, a real good time to be here and be a part of this. So thank you very much. Thanks so much for that. So guys, if you'd like to find out more details on the NC100, then check out the Cooler Master product page link below, or just jump through the link right to the M-Wave product page and get yourself a Mastercase NC100 today. Thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you guys again in the next video.